That being said, do you think it's easier to work on your own or to have, quote, collaborators? I think that it's always easier to work on your own, but it's never better. Um, I think that, you know, I'm so skeptical of anybody who says they're a writer, director, actor, producer, editor. They're not good at all those jobs. There's one or two they're good at. And I think that when people say they are multi-hyphenates of all of those things, they usually are not good at any of them. Be one or two things and be good at them that will make your work better. And so I can live in isolation and, and technically, could I direct, edit, produce, shoot? Technically I could. I, I know how to do all of those things, but I know what I'm best at. Uh, I'm a good director, I'm a good editor. And so I will sometimes do those two things. And even while I'm editing work I've directed, if I think that I'm not being disciplined enough, or if I'm not being judicious or I'm lost in the woods, I'll always bring in a second editor because I can't be precious about it in my own work because that looks poorly on me as a director, right? So you have to be cognizant of, of those things. So could you work on your own and do your own thing? Sure you can, but your work's gonna suffer. I think most people that do that, their work does suffer. Um, there are very few examples of people that are successful at that. I don't think, uh, most people can pull that off. But in the middle, let's say, I mean, be starting out, maybe yeah. they, they can't afford. Yeah, oh yeah, when you're starting out, yeah. you have to, right? That's, now that's different, right? Now, like if you're starting out, sure. Like when I first started out, I, <laughs> yes, I was producer, director, editor, all of those things. But if you want to make that transition to the middle, the middle best place, <laughs> uh, you, can't, uh, you can't do that anymore. You, you have to set that aside and you have to start leaning in on and working with people who are professionals in those areas. I don't think you would go to, using the accountant example, a CPA who is also a chef, who is also an Uber driver. You would probably think that one of those things they may not be very good at. Uh, it's the same thing in film. And maybe the need to hire out means yeah. that you are entering the middle. Right. Well, it also, I think, shows that you're entering a, a different mindset, right? Because there are two kinds of filmmakers, I, I think. There's the professional filmmaker, which I'm lucky to be now. And then there's the ones that do it for themselves, who just kind of make it and they have their regular job and, and that's what they do. And that's totally fine. Neither one of those are bad or wrong. But if you're going to be a film professional, you've got to work with other people because they are trained specifically in specialty areas that you are not. And if I'm trying to do all of those things, I'm invariably going to drop one of those balls or not do one of those things well because I am not trained. I am not a lawyer who took the bar and passed it. I am not going to write my own contract because I took an entertainment law class in college. That does not make me a lawyer. That means that I might understand basic verbologies and structures, but I'm not going to have myself write my own contract with a company to direct a film because I know that. That doesn't make me good at it. That means I know something about it. I will hire the lawyer that's been trained in entertainment law that passed the bar that is practicing in multiple states to do my negotiations for me. It's the same thing with hiring a crew. Would you hire a lawyer? Do you want to do your own legal? I don't think so. No. I don't want to do that. I'm not trained in it. I'll screw me over in the end. Same thing will happen if you try to do everything yourself.